Hi folks, nice to see you all again. Uh, I'm Bob Chase, I'm the publisher of the Art of Dr. Seuss Collection, and uh, really excited to be uh, with you all again uh, to talk today about the 60th anniversary works, which is one of the most exciting parts of the entire Art of Dr. Seuss Collection. Uh, the 60th anniversary works are these works that celebrate some of his most iconic characters, those characters that so you know, sort of tug at, at our own nostalgia. These are characters that we all grew up with and, and feel so connected to. And the 60th anniversary works really, really celebrate those um, in, in a strong and powerful way. So um, we're here to talk about the newest release of the 60th anniversary work, which actually many of you have reached out to us in hopes that uh, there would be an image from One Fish, Two Fish uh, coming up in the collection. And uh, I'm happy to say that, uh, in fact, we're here uh, to, to see the, the newest work from that book, uh, which is right here. This is the One Fish, Two Fish 60th anniversary work. And um, it joins uh, the Green Eggs and Ham and a number of other iconic images in this collection. But uh, the One Fish, Two Fish work is really, really special in sort of its message um, that Seuss conveyed to us. And he did so in a, in a, in a I think, profoundly simple way. I mean, if you look at the composition of this work and, and that entire book, really, it's, um, it, it's fast paced and it's fun, but it's really, really graphic and simple. And um, one of the things he was able to do was take this idea of monumental challenges in our lives and break them down into very elemental sort of bite-sized chunks that we could digest. That was a bit of his message here. So if you can imagine trying to teach a, uh, children around the world, uh, help them learn to read, it's a monumental task. Well, when you break it down into something like this and you employ what Seuss was so good at, which was his hallmark humor and nonsense and fun, uh, when you bring it down to that level, uh, it makes it very, very easy, right? To, to, to tackle these big, uh, the, these big challenges that we might face. And when I think about it in my life, and I think about things that I might have ahead for me, and, uh, and think about how I can break those down into bite-sized moments for myself. Uh, it, when I do that and I keep my sense of humor and I just start to, to look at it in that way, I feel like I can accomplish anything. And I'm sure you've probably experienced that as well. And I think that's very much the lesson that Seuss imparts for us in One Fish, Two Fish, uh, and, and especially this work, because it is so graphically simple. I mean, you know, this one fish, very bold, he writes that here, uh, and then he types out the two fish, red fish, blue fish. Um, but again, just um, simple, bold colors, um, but a ton of energy. And when you look at this work, which uh, is one of these large scale concept works, which means this is his first iteration of this of this drawing. This isn't how it appeared in the final book because you have all of his coloring and action that's happening here as he's kind of working out that idea. Um, he never loses sight of the simplicity of the message. Uh, and that's really hard to do as an artist is to take those ideas that you have swirling around in your head and get them down so simply and succinctly and powerfully on the page. Uh, and he's done it here in a way that is you know, one of the most remarkable examples of that um, in, in the entire 60th collection. Uh, Green Eggs and Ham, uh, another great example of just sort of the simplicity uh, that he accomplished in these works. Uh, the, the two characters now agreeing that um, Green Eggs and Ham is, is, is worth uh, opening your mind to. It's this, this story was all about this character uh, persevering, trying to get this character to open his mind and try something new. And, and once he has, they both agree uh, that the journey was, was worth it. So that's, that's a great piece. So this is collection two of the 60th anniversary works. But if you join me over here for a moment, I'll show you. This is the first collection of the 60th anniversary works, uh, which started with the Horton piece, which is now sold out. Uh, and here you see what I was speaking of, the fact that these are really, really iconic images. This is one of the most important images of the cat in the hat that he ever did. You see it executed here again with that concept drawing style where all of the action of Ted at his drawing easel is here in this work. Uh, but I think everybody is familiar with that moment when the cat appears in the window like that. Uh, so just a great homage to the cat. Um, Horton, this moment, 
when uh, they've all agreed that a person's a person no matter how small. Again, what, a, what an incredible story that you created there. And look at the simplicity and crispness of the lines and everything that you did to, to get that message to us in such a powerful way. And, uh, and the Grinch, as we head into the holidays, uh, the Grinch 60th is just at that moment when he's starting to realize that um, maybe his heart's gonna grow three sizes and uh, the cynical nature that he, or perspective that he had of the holidays uh, is going to change and he can see sort of what it's all about and the family and uh, friendship, etc. So the Grinch is just a really uh, important work as well. So these works are available as a matched number set which is pretty rare since the, um, the Horton piece is sold out, so that's not available individually, but these are available as a match number set. So I encourage you to ask your art consultant about that if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, you also have the ability on the website that uh, this video sits on uh, to acquire the match number set here and any of the, uh, any of the individual works with the exception of, of the Horton piece. Uh, but I would encourage you to reach out to your gallery if you have questions, and if you don't have a gallery that you work with, please um, reach out to us and we'll make sure that we connect you with somebody that's uh, in your area, a gallery that's closest to you so that uh, you can be taken care of uh, on any questions that you might have. So uh, thank you for joining. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. But uh, in the meantime, uh, we look forward to celebrating the 60th anniversary works with you. Take care.